Uh, definitely the most often used strategy is the treatment by anticoagulation drugs. In the 19th, it was documented that the treatment by warfarin is superior to placebo in terms of reducing the risk of cardioembolic events, and warfarin was able to reduce the rate of cardioembolic events by about 62%. And in the last 10 years, you can say, uh, NOACs have largely replaced warfarin because it improved safety profile. They are associated definitely with less risk of bleeding, especially intracranial bleeding, and they are similar effective in, redu in uh, the reduction of cardioembolic events. So the de dominant strategy is definitely uh, anticoagulation treatment by NOACs, we can say today. The Prague 17 study was a prospective multicenter randomized study uh, that was conducted as, as non inferior study to compare the treatment by NOAX with a treatment by appendage occlusion. We focused on high risk patients, the mean shots was 4.7 uh, in each arm, and to compare both treatment strategies. And the primary endpoint was a composite of stroke, TIA, cardioembolic even, significant bleeding, cardiovascular death and, and uh, procedure-related complications and was selected as a composite uh, to encompass both uh, risks and benefit of both treatment strategies. The risk associated with allocation to each treatment are significantly different, therefore we selected a composite endpoint to uh, encompass both efficacy and, and safety characteristic of both treatment strategies. And regarding the results, uh, the appendage closure arm was non-inferior to the treatment by NOAC. Uh, the primary endpoint occurred in about 11% of patients per year in the appendage closure arm and about 13.7% per year in the NOAC's arm and the p-value for non-inferiority in the intention to treat analysis was 0.004. So both strategies were similar with respect uh, to the primary endpoint. Regarding the analysis of secondary endpoints, there was no difference in uh, rate of strokes, cardioembolic events, or even bleedings between both groups. Uh, so I think the patient that are looking for non pharmaceutical alternative for stroke prevention can be treated uh, by NOAX, and the expected rate of endpoints are very similar in both strategies. I think there are two groups of patients who are candidates for appendage closure. The first group are patients who don't like drugs. There are a lot of old patients who have no uh, good adherence to drug treatment who or don't like to be treated by drugs. And these are candidates for uh, non-pharmacological treatment. And the other group of patients are patients who are at high risk for bleeding. And anticoagulation is associated with the bleeding risk. NOAX are uh, safer than old warfarin, but for instance, the GIT bleeding in NOAX is even higher. The risk of GIT bleeding is even higher than, than in warfarin. So just these patients who are at high risk for bleedings are the other group of candidates for uh, appendage closure.